1829, Sir Robert Peel, a member of British Parliament, established the first police department in London, England. Sir Robert, also known as the father of modern policing, developed nine principles as a guide for police departments. One of Sir Robert's nine principles, the, pu the police are the public, and the public are the police, is a community policing concept that is based on goals to prevent crime, develop community partnerships, and is as relevant for police departments today as they were to his theory in the 1800s. With this being said, I would like to thank, take this opportunity to support the proposal to amend Bill 2010-0234. I am here tonight in my capacity as the chair of the Independent Citizen Police Review Board. It is the board's privilege to offer advice on matters concerning police practices and their influence on the relations between the city of Pittsburgh citizens and its police. The original bill proposes to amend the duties of the Chief of the Bureau of Police by requiring the publication of an annual police service report and also provides for the inclusion of certain information. I have also had the opportunity to review a comprehensive proposal of amendments to 2010-0234. I understand the proposal is the combination of a community collaborative that has been working together since 2004. The community proposal is consistent with the standards adhered to by the Bureau of Police during the term of the consent decree between the City of Pittsburgh and the United States Department of Justice. The nature of this bill has been of interest to the CPRB for many years. Upon the termination of the consent decree, we directed our executive director to pursue our interest through research, analysis, engagement with community leaders and activists, and to do whatever else was needed to support an official effort to address many of the issues that are outlined in the community proposal. As a law enforcement professional by virtue of my 20 years as a police officer and as a professor of criminal justice at both Point Park University and the University of Pittsburgh. It is my opinion that the information described for public disclosure in this proposal, such as the number of pedestrian and traffic stops initiated by beat officers and officers in marked or unmarked vehicles, the reasons for these stops and their outcome, or that all officers complete a written report each time they exercise the use of force or conduct a search will not impose a burden on officers because they are already reporting these activities and the data is currently collected by the Bureau of Police. It is our position that the safeguards and enhanced public disclosure embodied in the community's proposal exceeds the provisions of Bill 2010-02-34 in its current form and will more effectively inform the public while acknowledging the productivity of the Pittsburgh Bureau of Police. In closing, I respectfully encourage members of City Council to adopt the community's proposal to amend Bill 2010-0234 in its entirety. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good evening, members of Council, and thank you for this opportunity to speak on behalf of Mr. Burgess' legislation. My name is Faith Stenning. I'm a resident of Highland Park. Our police officers, our Pittsburgh police officers, are well trained to think quickly, move quickly, and face, bravely face dangerous situations which they encounter daily. Their duty is to deal with situations which most of us would shrink from. Now I have a question. I want to know what were three adult male officers thinking when on one cold evening during a January evening, a uh, little over a year ago, these officers saw a solitary, slightly built male cutting across lawns along Tioga Street. What happened to the officers' minds when they saw this youth running from them. 
What happened to their training and judgment to release such a frenzy of violence when an unarmed adolescent ran from them? This youth, you know whom I'm speaking of, Jordan Miles, saw three adult males, strangers, get out of a car and go after him. He felt threatened and ran for his life. The officers saw a young man resisting arrest, a potential lawbreaker. These three officers were not facing a dangerous armed mob. No, one kid, my son, your son. Why did the officers lose a sense of reality so that they tore out some of his braids and beat him so badly? He needed to be treated at a hospital. The public needs more accountability from our police forces, and Mr. Burgess' legislation is one way of achieving that. Thank you. We have Willis Lawrence, followed by Sarah Giorati. My name is Lewis Mudd. I reside at 6523 Jackson Street, Island Park, PA. Um, Honorable Ricky, Reverend Ricky Burgess, City Council. I believe it's not um, just the, the City Council. I mean, it has to be the, the mayor. The mayor has to be included in this, too. That's all I like to say. Thank you very much, Sarah Giamatti, followed by Craig Stevens.